focus on the promotion that you have just gotten. So we're going to scroll down this page and you're going to go past analytics, resources, your networks, your activities, and you're going to get all the way down to experience. Now, once you get down to experience, as you can see here, there is your current job and or your current company and it gives you the type of employment and uh, the amount of time that you've actually been within that company or in that position. So you are a sales staff member over here, for example, from January 2021 to August 2023, and that is two years, eight months. So it then gives you the next position, which I have added in here, which is from present and that is one month. So from the time that it was actually added up until current. So if you would like to add a, an additional promotion over here, all you have to do is on this block on the top right hand side, you can click on the little plus icon. And over here, you have two options. Now, the one at the bottom is a career break. So if you're maybe going on leave or if you're taking a career break for any other reasons, such as perhaps studying or you're taking a gap here, whatever the case, that is the selection that you will make. However, we are adding a position, so the top option is what we're going to select. Now, the next page or window that you see over here will basically give you the opportunity to run through all the details. So, the first thing on the top of the page is, it says, the notify network. So, it says, turn on to notify your network of key profile changes, such as a new job and work anniversaries. Updates can take up to two hours. So if you would like your network to know about what is actually happening on your profile, you can select this on or you can have it toggled off if you don't want everyone to know what is actually happening. If you'd like to keep it more hush hush, let's leave it off. And another thing that we need to note here is this asterisk indicates a required field. So any field that has an asterisk such as the title over here requires the information that it is asking you for. So first of all the title. So over here we are going to add a title. So let us say we got promoted from a sales manager. We are now a sales specialist. We can now also enter the employment type. So from full time to half time and a bunch of other options over here. I'm going to go ahead and select full time as that is what I've selected for all of the other job positions that I have had in the past for this company. If you'd like to learn more about employment types, what they mean and how to define them, you can just tap on this tab right over here. As you're going down, you can now select the company that you are employed by. So we'd like to keep this the exact same so we want to make sure that the name is exactly exactly the same as the previous company name that you've entered because if it's slightly different say one character for example over here let's say i put in an apostrophe here it's not going to recognize it as the same company so I've just used the same company name and I've spelt it exactly the same. Now, this is not a registered company, so it won't come up as a suggestion as you're typing it in. As you can see here, there are a couple suggestions. However, because we have created this company and it is not registered, it will not come in as a suggested company. Next, you can choose your location. Now, of course, this completely depends on you. I am entering the United States just for example sake and then the location type. Now, over here, you can have an on-site, hybrid or remote. Of course, on-site means you would have to work on-site at that actual location. The remote position would mean you could work for that company which is based in the US from anywhere in the world remotely and a hybrid would be a mixture of the two on-site and remote positions together. For now, I'm going to make it remote and the next option that you have here says I am currently working in this role. So you can select this on or you can select it off. If you're selecting it on, this is now if you're updating 
after you have actually obtained this position and actually started this position. So let's say you got promoted a month ago or two weeks ago, you can now select this on and you can select your start date and this means that your start date will be in the past. If you are going to leave it off, you are going to select a start date and you're going to end a end date as well. So you can then define when you actually start. So if you start in the future, let's say if you're starting in a month from now or two weeks from now, then you can actually put this in over here. Just for now, I'm going to select, I'm currently working in this role, and then you can select your start date. So I'm going to select August, and then I'm going to select the year 2023 as is current. And then you are now going to go down and you have the option to select where it says end current position as of now, which is your sales manager position at Bob's doorknobs. So what you can actually do here now is yes, you can select this if your current position is replacing your previous position. If however, you are taking on two roles, you can actually unselect that and you can actually have both of them as your current roles. For now, I'm going to select this because this current position that I'm obtaining, the promotion, it is replacing my previous position. Then the industry, again, you're going to enter that in. However, we're going to keep it as the previous industry. So it, we're going to keep that the same. And then your description, you may want to put some details in here if you would like to. This is not a required field, so it is optional. You can put in information such as some of the new roles that you need to take upon, some of the new skills that you need to learn, some of the opportunities that you may have faced. So you can enter all of those details right over there. And then your profile headline. I like to specifically keep this profile headline the same as the actual position type. So over here it says sales specialist. So we're going to just copy that sales specialist and we're going to go down and we're going to put it straight in to the profile headline. So this just makes things all the same and it makes sure that there's no confusion between positions. Over here, this is quite an important part. When you get to your skills, likely your new position requires new skills. Whether it's hard skills or soft skills, whatever it may be, this is an important part. Now, if you are going to be updating your LinkedIn profile, you want to get in here and you want to add some skills. So whatever that may be, maybe leadership, maybe communication, maybe some sort of software that you're now using that you weren't using before. So then all you have to do is tap on add skill and you can start typing in and it'll start giving you suggestions over here. So you can now start selecting new skills and adding them in over here. This is, of course, not a required field either. However, I do suggest strongly that you add in new skills so that you can continue to build up your profile with each position that you actually get promoted to. Then you can add some media, images, documents, presentations if you would like. If you would like to, it's again not a required field but it would be nice to add some media. Maybe you just want to add an image, you know, of yourself being given a handshake by your manager or your, your line manager or whatever the case may be, um, a company logo, anything just to add an image or add a media to your actual post that you're making. And once you're done with this, you can go down to the bottom right hand side and you can tap on save. How to add a promotion on LinkedIn for the same company. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the channel. If you have a LinkedIn account, this is what your homepage should look like. Of course, it'll have on the left-hand side over here your profile picture, your name, and all of your details. The feed will also be personalized specifically to you, so everything that you see going down here will be specific to you.
On the top of the page, you have your toolbar. So you have home, network, jobs, messaging, notifications, and then you have a tab called me. Now, if you would like to add a new position in the same company that you're working in, let's say you got promoted and now you want to let everyone know that you got promoted, you want to update your status on LinkedIn, this is how you go about it. Up at this top toolbar, you're going to tap on the me tab and you're going to go on to view profile. Now, once you get into the view profile page, this is where you can sort of define different elements of your profile. You can change a bunch of stuff. But right now we're going to and then you get into this point where you can actually share this new position that's been added with your network. Now, let's say, you know, that you would like to do so. We're going to go on and say next and it'll give you now the option to edit this post over here. It says, I'm happy to share that I'm starting a new position at sales specialist at Bob's doorknobs. You can change this text altogether. You can also edit this little animation or this image that they've given you over here. So we can change all the elements over here. And then we can post it by just hitting the post button right over here at the bottom. So once you have completed that, you can actually see that all of the details that you've just entered will now show up on your profile. Right over here under experiences, now you can see that there is one company, which is Bob's Doorknobs. There is your sales specialist. Now this is your latest. So as you can see here, this is your latest position. And this is where you had started. So now anybody that's viewing your profile, they can actually see this progression. They can also see the timeline that it happened in and so forth. So that is how you can add a new promotion into the same company on LinkedIn. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave us a like. Don't forget to leave comments if you have any questions or anything more that you'd like to say. And we will see you in the next video. Cheers for now.